G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of a Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And by request, today I'll be teaching you how to play I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. Now make sure you head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Now this is a really beautiful song and it's finger picked as well, so you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Now for the basics of this song, first of all we'll need our guitar in drop D tuning. So from standard tuning, You'll need to take the 6th string down to a D. So that's a D there, and all the other strings remain the same. So you're just detuning the 6th string down to a D. Once you've got your 6th string down to a D, you'll need to take a capo and place it on the 2nd fret of your guitar, right there. Now for our finger picking basics, for most of the picked riff, our thumb is going to take care of the 6th and 5th strings and our index finger will be plucking the 4th string and our middle finger will be plucking the 3rd string. And that's the position for most of the finger picking but there will be an occasion where you'll need to take your index and middle finger down one string so that your index finger is plucking the 3rd string and your middle finger is plucking the 2nd string. Don't let that confuse you though, I'll clarify when we get to those particular spots. So to start off the song, we have like a lead-in lick. I'll also call it a passing lick or a passing riff. To play this, we'll start by plucking our fourth string, just open like this. And then we'll need to pluck it another two times, but quickly. And this will be just with our index finger, so... And then we'll put our index finger on the second fret of the fourth string and then the 4th fret of the 4th string with our ring finger there. And that lead-in riff sounds like this. All plucked with our index finger. And then from this position, we're actually going to start our main picking riff. So we'll slide our ring finger up to the 5th fret, and your middle finger will need to be placed on the 4th fret of the 3rd string there. So this is position one. Now for the finger picking pattern, I'm gonna break it up into chunks. Now one main chunk is gonna comprise of four plucked notes. So I've highlighted one chunk here. So for this chunk, we're gonna be plucking the sixth string and we're gonna be plucking the fourth and third strings all together. So our thumb, index and middle finger will all be plucking at the same time, like that. So that's the first pluck of this four note chunk. And then we're going to hit the 6th string, and then we're going to pluck the 4th string, and then we're going to go back to the 6th string. And that is one full chunk of the picking pattern. So, 3 notes together, bass note, 4th string, bass note. And in one fluid motion. So it's really important that you understand that chunk of the picking pattern because it's basically going to be repeated over and over and over and over. So after we play this position for one picking pattern, we're then going to change positions and we're going to slide our ring finger down to the fourth fret and our index finger now is going to go on the second fret of this third string. And we're going to play another picking pattern but now in this position. And then we'll play that picking pattern one more time for this position. Now you'll see up here in the tab that this note is up in brackets. What that means is that's optional. You can decide to pluck that note on this picking pattern if you want to, but if you just want to hit the 6th string and the 4th string together at the same time, like that, then that's fine as well. And sometimes Jason Mraz does that. He doesn't pluck all three strings, he just does two, like that. And so far, this main section sounds like this.
and together with the lead in riff. Now after that main chunk, we have another passing riff. And this is really easy, it's just three notes. So open, second fret, and then fourth fret, which sounds like this. And then we're going to play another main picking section, except it's gonna be altered a little bit. We're just gonna miss the last three plucks. So we have one picking pattern here, one picking pattern here, and then our first pluck of the next picking pattern, but then we don't finish it, we're going to play another passing riff. And this is the same passing riff that we play at the start of the song, which goes... And then after that, we play another main picking section, except this time we're not going to cut the last three notes. And then after that, we have another passing riff, which is a bit different. So our passing riff will start on the 4th fret of the 4th string, then go down to the 2nd fret, and then go to the open 4th string. So it's just 3 notes. Like that. And then we're going to go to an A sus4 chord. So we have our index and middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd and 4th string, and our ring finger will go on the 3rd fret here of the 2nd string. Now this is where our index and middle finger are now going to move down one string. So they're going to be plucking the third and second strings. Our bass note now moves to the fifth string as well. So we're going to play this chord for two picking chunks, which is, remember, the three strings together, then the bass note, then our index finger, then back to the bass note, and that's one picking chunk. So two picking chunks will sound like this. And then after that, we're going to slide our ring finger down to play an A chord. And we're just gonna strum all the strings from the fifth string onwards. And that's the end of the intro riff. So now I'll play the full intro at 75 and 100% speed. And I'll have a close up of my picking hand so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Now we get to our verse, and the first part of the verse is going to be exactly the same as our intro that we just played. The only difference is that we won't begin with this lead-in riff. We're just going to go straight in with our picking pattern. Like that. So there's nothing new to learn there. Now for the verse variation, there's just a small difference here and it's not massive. We're gonna be playing the main picking pattern, so the three picking chunks. And then this passing riff. And then we're gonna be repeating that section twice. And then for the second line, we're gonna be playing the full picking riff again. And then everything else is exactly the same. The descending passing riff and everything else. So essentially we're just leaving out, in a way, this passing riff. The one that has a double pluck is sort of omitted from this verse variation. So at 75 and 100% speed, the verse variation will sound like this.
For the first verse, you play the normal verse riffs, then you play the verse variation, and for the second verse, we're just playing the verse variation by itself. Okay, so now let's get to the chorus. And the first chorus just has two lines of chords. We're gonna start with what we're gonna call a G chord. Now, because the guitar is drop D'd, the G we're gonna play is not gonna look like a normal G we would regularly play on a standard tuning guitar. For this G, we're gonna take our ring and pinky finger, and we're gonna put it on the fifth fret relative to the capo on the sixth and fifth strings. Then we're gonna skip a string. Now, our middle finger will play the fourth fret of the third string, and our index finger will play the third fret of the second string. And we're gonna just leave the first string muted, but you can play the fourth string open. So that's what we're gonna call a G. Now when you're strumming after you've been finger picking, what I generally like to do is use the edge of my fingernail as a makeshift pick so that I can still get a crisp sound when I'm picking. So just the edge of my fingernail there, as opposed to using your thumb. But you can use your thumb if you want to, but I prefer the edge of my fingernail. And then we're gonna to go to a D. Now for this D, because our top string is tuned down to a D, we can now hit all the strings for this D shape. And it'll sound really big. Then we're gonna play a B minor 11. Now from this position, you'll take your index and middle finger off. The index finger will go on the second fret of the fifth string and middle finger will go on the second fret of the third string. And you'll be strumming from the fifth string onwards. That's B minor 11. And then our final chord is A for this first line. Now the strumming pattern we're gonna use has a waltz feel to it. The song is in three, four timing, so it has that very one, two, three, two, two, three, waltz, dance sort of feel. So the strumming pattern we're gonna use is gonna go something like this. Down, down, up, down, up. And in succession. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now for every chord that you see up here in the annotations, you're gonna be playing that for two strumming patterns. Then our second line of chords is our G chord again, then D, then we have A sus4. And we have that chord in our picking riff. And then we end on an A chord. Now that A chord is just strummed once. It's not played for two strumming patterns. So in total, the first chorus will sound like this with the strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Then you get into the second verse, which of course is just the verse variation, which I explained earlier. Now, second chorus is basically exactly the same as the first chorus, except we have one extra line here. So after we've held out that A chord, we're just gonna go to a G chord that we started on, and then we're gonna be playing that for four strumming patterns. It's shown up here as two Gs, but of course, because we're playing each of these chords for two strumming patterns, that's a total of four strumming patterns. Then we get to a bridge, and our bridge has three lines of chords here. We're gonna start with the E minor chord. Now to play this E minor chord, we're gonna need to push down on the second fret of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. And we're gonna do that with these three fingers, and that's our E minor chord. And then we're gonna alternate between that and the A chord. Now you see two E minors up here, which will mean effectively four strumming patterns because each chord up here is gonna be played for two strumming patterns. So the first line will just sound like this. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And we're just gonna play that first line twice. Then for the second line, we have C, and we're gonna be playing that for four strumming patterns. And then we're gonna to go to an A slash C sharp. So to play this, we're just gonna slide up from our C chord, ring finger goes on the fourth fret of the fifth string. And your 
index finger will bar the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. So we'll be focusing on these four strings here. You don't want to be hitting the sixth string or the first string. And this is A slash C sharp. And we're going to be strumming that for four strumming patterns. And following this third line, we go back to a C chord. And we're just playing that for two strumming patterns now. And then we go back to our A slash C sharp. Now we're going to be playing this for one strumming pattern, but then we're going to be strumming it once and holding it. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down. And then we're going to go to a D chord and we're going to be strumming that for four strumming patterns. So the last line of chords will sound like this. And that's it for the bridge. And for the third chorus, it's going to be exactly the same as the first chorus basically, except this first line where we go G, then D, then B minor, and A. That line's going to be played three times. So now I'm going to be playing this song in its entirety. I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Now, if you're playing along to the recorded version, you might hear a lot of other stuff going on that might confuse you. Now, don't try to listen into that too much because that's the second guitar playing all these other licks and riffs. So try to focus on the main melody, which is what I've shown you. But all that other stuff is just bells and whistles that's played by a second guitar, so you don't need to worry about that.
Be sure to head over to Guitar Zero to Hero Guys to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you enjoy this and you want to see more in the future, then hit that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell next to it so you don't miss out on any updates. Leave your thoughts, comments, and questions below. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers. Watching the sunrise replace the moon. Would you feel If I told you I loved you It's just something that I want to do